Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Warsword Conquest, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Now, look at this. My allies attacking the enemy. There's oh, it's only one person's party, yet it's taking the combined force of all of Chaos to defeat them. Chaos is in a bad way. It is unfortunate. Then again, with weak leadership that we have, it's to be expected. We'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. I have taken on a few mercenaries, a few demons. We're going to rebuild our army. Where did I get the blood blood letters from? Interesting. I don't remember recruiting them. But so be it. We'll leave them behind for now. I just want them to not die. Find the enemy, they're down there. They'll slowly be on their way. I have no shield, so I have to be very careful, but my mount is better. It's a new mount, it's faster than before. I need to make sure I keep it alive. Now, I need to get my relation up with my companions in Chaos because it is important that I make use of them. And there goes my new mount. Not quite. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. The battle begins. So yeah, it's going to be my goal get my relationship with my fellow Chaos Lords so they'll listen to me so I can get territory so I can command our legions to go where I need them to go so we can take territory and we can start conquering we can start spreading chaos because we haven't done that it's been a massive disaster thus far that's it kill them all Problem with archers, they're all gonna get like a sneaky hit on you eventually. That's it, bring them down. You wanna fight me? I'll fight you. Every faction in this mod has amazing looking gear. The only thing that's a shame about this entire mod is how laggy it is on the world map. Outside of that, it's pretty damn awesome. Alright, who's left? Just a few of them. This guy knew it was useless to resist, so he was going to die fighting. The others tried to, fled, uh, tried to flee, but that's not going to happen. It always changes when Uncle Tyrant gets involved. We've got to go uphill for this fight. My demons are going to be among the first to reach the enemy. That is not necessarily a good thing. They trap me. No. No. Oh, my horse. Oh, god damn it. Now, now my coward allies attack. Okay. 
I'm going to order everyone to attack on my behalf. Lose your troops, I don't care. I have a prisoner, that is good. We can make that money back. We're going to take everyone prisoner, or at least the ones which are going to be worth the most. I wish this was like the last days, because I would just kill them all. For a morale boost. Because that's how chaos rolls. Now then, you've seen what I've just done. I'm straight, you will not forget the help I have given you. And the rest of you. Some of these lords I don't recognize. Like, I wonder if people join their name changes and they get all this armor. It's weird. Anyway, at some point I'll talk to the rest of them. Okay. Let's recruit who we can. I do need more mercenaries, more demons at my beck and call, but unfortunately... There are no more places for us to recruit from. Apart from the tribesmen, which is, well, that's okay, it's not adequate. And where's my land? Where's my last bit of land? Do I have any? I own no land. I've got nothing. You really should support me. Let me be the marshal. Let me lead the legions. Because I would definitely do a better job. I, I could at least command my allies to attack the places that need attacking. That's the problem we're facing at the moment. We're not doing that. At least my horse didn't take too much damage and it's still going. Okay. Let's see, where could we head to? I guess I could go back to Gosler. There's not much else going on, so I'm kind of in limbo at the moment with my forces. Travelling to Karag Dromar. Where is that? That is all the way down here. As far away as possible, what use is that? But it's fine, we'll let some time pass. Mercenary Merchant, Humanitarian. Give me a Ransom Broker. Tresnor, welcome back. Only two of them. I want. I want to. Re if I'm going to drop money, I want to get numbers. Because having only one or two horsemen is not good. Because they'll just get surrounded and taken out in battle. So I could do with a few to work with. Let's go to the Dark Elf land. Bandits. We'll kill them.
I just want my horse to stay alive. He's already died too many times. Perfect. Normally I take it, but if I refuse it, that increases my honor, and apparently increasing honor increases your overall relation with everyone that you know. So, this might be a good way to get my relation up with my allies. In fact, let's have a look. Yeah, everything's slowly going up. It's not the best, but if I can keep it up, the wall... Okay, I've got to work with my lord because it, my relation is fairly low, which is not good. <laughs> Troll, though. Who names these places? we got the tribesmen. Let's cross over. I want to go to Nagarund. place I have not visited yet. Curious what we're going to run into while out here. Although it's looking safe. Chaos Dwarven. Ooh. These guys look strong. But a part of me thinks I am stronger. Hobgoblins. Hobgoblins. Is that the best you can muster? Okay. Bosh. Got the main dude. I need a shield. I want my good shield back. I had the best shield and lost it, so it's like... I don't want to replace it with just any old shield. The last one I had just broke too too easily. Then again, maybe I should invest in getting uh, the shield stat up just to increase its health, you know? Oh my god, is that a blunderbuss? Sure look like it. You guys can attack, by the way. I'm just... You know, I held you back because I thought, you know, they were made up of these massive, dangerous dudes since they decided to attack us. No, just, uh, eight of them, or however many there were. Why am I even riding around? Just come and hit me. Oh, okay, yeah, but you, you, you get to die. You right there gets to die. There we go. Who's left? Nope, no one left. Okay. Or did someone flee and I missed it? <laughs> one fled. Scum. Okay. We want to make our way to here. Dark Elf repeater crossbow. Okay, so this one may be a bit more troublesome. But I'm going to have my troops just charge the enemy. I wonder how fast this attacks. I wonder how fast they attack, I should say. Repeat crossbow, do you think it's going to be kind of rapid? They look like they've got good armor. God, the armors look good in this game. Ooh, I leveled. Haven't leveled in a while. We'll look at that once we're done. Q. 
Keep going. Through the middle. Down they go. Mm. While it's only going to be a small thing, the world is going to start feeling the presence of Cult Tyron. Oh my god, I can give that to my companions, my Dark Elves, when I get them back. I love Dark Elf armor, it just looks so awesome. I just love Warhammer period, it's just so brutal. So let's just go ahead and level up this guy. This guy has been progressing quite nicely. I like that. My idea is, is that I'm going to have a bunch, even though I can't fight as the commanders, which does kind of suck, I need to find the one which I did have. They will act more like tanks on the battlefield, and it's actually a pretty good that... I've put points into strength because basically it means I survive as long as possible and you know there's less of a chance of me going you know me dying which is pretty important when you consider there is not much you know there's no I can't be a commander if I die so I have to stay alive in these fights so basically being this unstoppable juggernaut uh, works very well. Should I keep dropping points into Charisma or do I drop points into Agility? Because I could increase my shield, but then again, the last shield I had was, you know, it was the Chaos Lord shield and it just lasted forever. I never really had to worry about losing it. So maybe I just focus on Charisma and keep working on, you know, prison management and leadership, get my troop uh, wages down. So I'll just keep that point for now. Anyway. If we could continue on the way. Privateers, oh my god. Ha ha ha. That's kind of cool. I could have so many zombie pirates and <laughs> the beached ship. That is neat. That is very neat indeed. Quest failed, whatever. I think I care. Master Assassin Shadow Blade. Welcome back. Oh. New one. Tavern Keeper. Oh my god. Ah, uh, they beheaded one of our no ah uh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> Darius the apprentice. So he's not the one I'm after, I'm actually after Marcus the Wise who has all of these interesting items. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on, we'll go to Cold, uh, Chillport. Again, another neat sounding place. Visit the tavern. Oh, Dreadlord Malice Darkblade. 
there is a very cool novel series on him that is awesome. I recommend checking out if you ever get the chance. Tavern Keeper. Wait. Mercenary Dark Ogre. One of them 1700. Good God. Slave Trader. Be nice if I could buy... Be nice if I could like sell... Oh, I've still got this dude. Why can't... Why isn't anyone wanting to buy him? Wow, these people are worth quite a bit. Skullock. This scum is following me everywhere. Of course, the territories we can't get to. There should be... Is it Claw Camrond owned by Malekith? Let's have a look. Battle going on. I don't want to mess with the High Elves. I don't think I've got a negative relation with them yet, so it's not worth it. Yeah, Witch King Malekith of the Dark Elf Kingdom. Only three of them. Three of them. Disappointing. I really wish I'd run into Crund again. I wouldn't mind picking him up. Anyway. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time.